Be different. Let your words flow like water. Practice them. Next thing you know, you're crushing it. And in your industry, everybody's like, dude, that guy's the machine. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. Well, it was all from your sales training. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. In this video, I want to talk to you about new language in other industries. This is how I became great at sales. Obviously, I train in every sector of sales across the world, but I'm gonna tell you why I got interested in learning other industries was because it made me great at the niche that I was in. Everybody always says, practice, repetition is the mother of skill. See, when I trained and I practiced and I was speaking, I didn't practice until I got it right. I practiced until I couldn't get it wrong. Write this down. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't, underline can't, get it wrong. So what I want you to understand is this. We're gonna make your words flow like water. Literally, when you speak, do you wanna be different? I'm gonna ask you a question. What niche are you in? What industry are you in? Are other people like you out there? Do you wanna be different? Do you wanna stand out? When you talk to somebody, do you wanna have new language, which is, by the way, the topic of what we're talking about here, new language. So when you're talking to somebody about your industry or your niche or what your product does, do you wanna sound like the last guy that they just spoke to and you're literally repeating just what they said, almost identical, so you sound like a parrot? They're hearing the same thing twice. It's not making them want to do anything different. In order to make somebody to want to do something different than they want, didn't want to do, didn't want to do with someone else, you're going to have to be different. How are you going to be different? By new language. So one of the ways that I became great at speaking, talking, closing, different strategies, uh, mindset, like articulating my words, moving a client, was that I studied other industries. So like if you go to YouTube, right, and you type in car sales training, you're gonna get automotive sales training. That was my niche. But I studied sales training. 2% was car sales, 90% was sales training. If you go in and type in sales training, you're gonna get the whole world. There's a giant piece of the pie there. Your goal is when you speak to be able to influence and persuade and move people in the direction that you wanna move them. And by the way, in order to do that and do it at a really high level and be a top one percenter, you're going to need to study other industries. And when I say studying other industries, I mean this. If you know your niche, you get rich. You should know your business better than anyone else in the world, but also you should know that the way that you speak to somebody and the way you talk to them, there's a good chance they probably researched that already. They probably got on the internet. They found out a lot of information about that. And then when they reach out and they actually get to talk to somebody and they're talking to you, do you sound like you're able to move them in the direction to have the courage to buy it today and move forward right now? That's where in other industries, when I studied the way other people move, the way that they work, the way that they talked, um, it really led me to be greater in my own individual niche. And what I took when I studied these other industries was new language, the words. So I'm gonna kind of go over some points here, right? What people, outside of your industry are saying that works. So what I like to do is that, let's say I'm studying, and let's say I'm a solar salesman, right? And I'm studying to sell solar and I wanna be great at it. Couldn't I go over and maybe watch an automotive sales training video when someone's sitting down on a negotiation and maybe the salesman's doing money justification and he's, and he's talking to the client about how you can save money on gas and that right there, like you work hard for your money, you put your money in the bank, when the money leaves the bank, that's the real money spent, am I right? When they're talking about like ownership cost, what it costs to own something, maybe with like a warranty on the car, maybe when something breaks. Couldn't somebody watch automotive sales training who was in like a home warranty sales industry and he's talking to people and he's like, hey, listen, at the end of the day, what I do is I sell home warranties or $600 for two years. Listen, right now an average dishwasher, if it was to break, it'd cost anywhere from, you know, 200 an hour to fix plus $300 part. You'd spend $900 just to fix the dishwasher. This covers the whole house. House, the cost of the two-year coverage protection that takes all the freaking you know headache away from you in the event that something happens, um, it, it costs six hundred dollars. If the dishwasher broke, it costs nine hundred. If your oven went out, it would be six thousand. Guys, think about the things that could add up, and to get all this protection to make you sleep at night like a baby and be protected for six hundred bucks, that's worth it. That's three hundred a year. By the way, twelve months in a year, three hundred a year. What is that? <laughs> We're down to twenty-five dollars a month. 
That's 90 cents a day to know that if anything your house breaks, it's gonna be paid for. What did I do? I just used money justification that I learned from an automotive sales training video and now I took it into home warranties or took it into solar. Do you guys get it? Your goal is to study other industry, find things that work, and then tie them into the way that you sell and teach. So become a student of the game. So what works for other people? Also, make your words flow like water. If you'll notice just a second ago when I was talking to you, did I stutter? Did I flinch? No, it's because my words flow like water. I just said, don't study till you get it right. Study until you can't get it wrong. So many people practice a word track and then finally when they get it right, they're like, I got it. Dude, you don't have it. You gotta say it over and over and over and over and over until you can't get it wrong. Getting it right, right one time don't be nothing. Get it right a thousand times. Now you're not gonna get it wrong again, okay? Keep yourself different. This is how you stay different. This is called real studying. This is, this is what's gonna make you the elite. And then lastly, role play. Repetition is the mother of skill. There's two ways to role play, okay? Number one, I repeat something, maybe I'm watching it on a camera, I'm like returning it on and I'm looking at my camera and I'm like, guys, I say I need to think about it. I'm like, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given enough information. Now I'm going into my little role play word track, right? And I'm looking at the camera, I'm going into it, I'm looking at my posture, I'm looking at my body language, I'm listening to my words. Do my words flow like water? Does it look like I believe? And then when I'm done, I, pr I press play and I record it and watch myself or role play live fire get a buddy get a partner get your wife whatever and role play and say hey listen i'm gonna i'm gonna hit you with this and i want you to see if you would close up on this so ready babe say no and then boom 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 what do you think you good did i look like i believe in myself would you have bought it if you wanted what i have right would you have said yes to me based on the way i presented that live role play let her tell you no hey no man i cool hey listen i totally understand i appreciate it but i'm still gonna think about it let her tell you no. Make you go two or three rounds so you can dig deep and really show her what you have.